previously. I'm Trev Gaming! Super real Orca Set Profile! It's the highest quality video. Honestly, this is greatness at its finest. I hope you guys like this Mermail Set Profile. Yo, cut it! One of the most popular archetypes on my channel is Zephra. You guys keep commenting it. Zephra, 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 Zephra. I heard your cry. A fan sent me this crazy Zephra combo, 6 negate Zephra combo tutorial, and I commentate throughout the whole combo. It's a good one, man. You guys are going to enjoy it. If you like Zephra, stay tuned for the whole video. You're going to love it. I'm going to show you guys the whole combo that my, the fan sent me. He sent it to me. He did it. He told me, yo, trip. This combo is nuts. Go check it out. Uh, I love the combo. It's great. Ends on six, uh, five negates and a floodgate, like five real negates, and a floodgate. Plus, is a lot. It gets a lot of follow-ups, and, and I love the deck. So, I'm going to show you guys. The deck, and at the very end, I'm going to do a little Zephra talk, more so the good parts of Zephra, the bad parts of Zephra, for the Zephra fans out there, it, uh, if you're debating one play Zephra, Magician, etc., and, and I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of Zephra. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, unfortunately, no skit today. Uh, we did stream today. Uh, don't forget, we stream every day now, so don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time we do a, a stream, and every time I post a video. So, hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm going to straight into the video. Yo, let's get straight into the video, guys. This crazy Zephra combo sent to me by a fan. It blew my mind. It's a great combo. Obviously, I would have come with something like that, too. I never touched Zephra yet in this format with Orcas and all that. But this guy put up something amazing. Uh, really utilizing Summon Sorceress and Zephra. And Summon Sorceress and Zephra is... Uh, it's a tits. So, uh, you're going to see for yourself right now. Uh, six negate uh, Zephra combo. And, like, negate, negate. Like, really, really good. You're gonna see for yourself. Look at his hand. Like that's shit. That's shit. The hand sucks. Like you have two non-pendulums here. They got three pendulums. Uh, two like Zephrath and Zephra Providence. Uh, they're, they're okay. Like, I'm gonna show you guys right now what he does. So he pluses a lot here. And the point of the deck, obviously, you want to put as many negates as possible. Uh, but at the same time, you want to have plusing. So what a lot of pendulum decks have trouble with is they can put up a few negates. But even if they put up a few negates, uh, you either gotta kind of sacrifice the follow up for negates, etc., etc. But what Orcas do, because Orcas say to return, it, it gives you a follow-up and a negates. So that's why I love it. It's, it's so good in this deck. So you're going to Dragon Shard, obviously, Dark Room, get gate zero. And at this point, he's going to do something cool with Zephyr. What I love to do with Zephyr as the plus one. Instead of sending uh, Zephyr Nui or the level seven, Zephyr, the Zephyr Nui, when he sends us the, level, the a scale seven uh, ritual beast. So what this one does is, when it's normal or special, add a Zephyr from your extra deck. Uh... What's he do? Oh, sorry, sorry. He sent Zephyr Nui with Zephrath. Okay, so he was, and then he's gonna Zephyr Providence, the other one. So he's Zephyr Providence to add that to his hand, and he sends Zephyr Nui. Now he's gonna normal summon to add the Zephyr Nui to his hand. So Zephyr sends Zephyr Nui, uh, Zephyr Wendy adds. So he gets a free plus one, a completely free plus one, which is fantastic because Zephyr Nui's gonna get him a card. Now he's gonna go to his Electrum, and just like with three cards, with three cards, he's gonna have a whole like that's why I like Zephyr for that reason. A bunch of one card combos that could, if you draw two of them in conjunction with each other, they plus one. So now uh, he's gonna keep going in the combo. He's gonna send Chronograph. He's gonna pop the gate zero to add the gate zero simply to draw one card. I would have sent Jackal instead of the Chronograph at that point. But again, uh, he's doing the combo. It doesn't matter too much what you send. So he summons those. Keep in mind, he can't pen summon the Nightmare or the Distrudo. He's not playing Pendulum Magicians. That ends on scale 8. He's playing Zephyr, which sends on, uh, ends on a scale 7. So you can't pen summon the Orgus Nightmare or the Distrudo. So it seems like it's kind of dead, right? Nah, 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 nah. It's most definitely not. Zephyr Nui gets another Divine Strike. Gets double Divine Strike at the moment. But he's going to keep going because obviously he's not going to end there. The, the, the combo is going to keep on comboing. Summon Sork is going to give them a Zephyr, uh, uh, Yang Zing card by targeting uh, Zephyr Nui. So now they have a Yang Zing card, and now you're going to summon the Strudo and go into Yazi, and you're simply going to keep going off here. Yazi's going to pop that, summoning up both the Mammer and another Yang Zing. So now they're going to keep playing. Uh, he's going to keep summoning. As you see at this point, he has too many monsters that he even knows what to do with. The combo's going to end on multiple, multiple negates. He goes into Nightmare Cerberus for literally no reason. Uh, like you just got literally you have too many monsters that you know what to do with literally so jokingly and then he's going to 
a nightmare, a meteor burst to bring out the gate zero. They're going to a vortex dragon. You have too much that you know what to do with. You have too many monsters that you know what to do with with the field. He's going to nightmare griffin. What he should have done here to get a free draw at the very end is discard the nightmare to draw one, and to set a shrine. So at this point, you could have discarded the Orcus Nightmare to draw a card, and you could have set a follow-up of a Dragon Shrine to send to Strudel. So you could have plus one extra card in this combo, which you didn't, so keep that in mind. Uh, next, he's going, because they would have hatched up at that point anyways. With the card you drew from Griffin, you would have drawn another card, you discard the Orcus Nightmare. Mermaid, discard that card. So it would have ended the same result, except uh, an extra Dragon Shrine set to bring up Ravine next turn. Now he's going to go into Underclock with that. I would have... Yeah, I guess it's fine. Underclock into Vortex, and yeah, you're going to go into the summon the Galatea. You can't summon Sorg and bring it World 1 simply because you did it to go into the whole Mirror Mirror combo. This combo could end up even more, to be honest, but the field was too clogged. That's how much this uh, could do. And you really only did this combo with three cards. And, uh, this, four cards. The Strudo. But you didn't, it wasn't that necessary. He's going to draw two here. So he's going to go into the Rusty. He's going to get rid of his cards. And then he's going to draw two. He even drew the Dead Cloak, but it doesn't matter. Cloak's going to be there later for... The Distrudo, he could have gotten extra with Dragon Shrine. And actually, now that I think about it, he can't even... Uh, Dragon, it's good that he didn't use uh, Griffin's effect, actually, because he's going to literally set four cards. Uh, so he's going to now draw two. Drawing a follow-up, and like six cards in hand. Like, he's just plusing the plusing infinite. He's now going to set double Fog Blade, double Divine Strike. Go ahead. Like, he has four negates of fucking Griffin and a Vortex. So he has three negate anything, double Divine Strike and Vortex. Double Fog Blade for Monster Effects, and just in case Griffin's not going to go through it, Griffin. Obviously, this is the first one he's going to use, uh, so take that in. Like, too many spell traps, even for Pendulums that you can't even use. You're not going to be able to use a uh, scale unless you activate this. So, obviously, you're going to activate this Divine Strike to negate anything. Then you'll have more uh, negates, Fog Blades, Griffin, that's nuts. Like, actually, this is actually nuts. Next, you got to follow up. You can make this up with any skill you want. Corner got Razor, Boots, like, there's a Cloak. Orca's Engine Recycling and stuff, that shit's nuts. Like, a nice little Zephyr combo there, which you could do in Zephyr because of Divine Strike, ending up with Quadruple, Back Row, Vortex Griffin. I really like that combo. Some of you guys love Zephyr, I know you do. So a little Zephyr combo for the Zephyr lovers out there. I, if you guys want, I'll do my personal take on Zephyr. Do let me know in the description below. If you guys want to see my personal take on Zephyr, I'll happily show you guys. Just let me know in the description below, and I'll happily show you guys my Zephyr combo. So that's it for the actual combo tutorial. We'll see you guys in the outro of the video, where we're going to talk about Zephyr strategy, Zephyr that. See you guys then. One thing people say about Zephyrs is you play too many traps, it could brick. What people don't understand is because you play Dragon Ravines as well, you play five Dragon Ravine, uh, different discard outlets, etc, etc, allures, whatever, whatever, if you want, you don't... It doesn't matter. Like, you're playing Orca's Fog, they don't brick. Like, it seems like they brick, but it just, they brick in theory. In your head, they brick. But when you play it, you'll realize that these cards don't actually brick, especially in Pendulum deck. Traps are literally one card negates in itself. It's like drawing a hand trap. Uh, they're already one card negates. It doesn't matter. Uh, back in the day when you played Pendulum without Electrum, they bricked. Traps are brick. Hand traps are brick. Non Pendulum would brick. But now with so many plus ones. With so many Electro, uh, Waste Electro, Turbo cards, you go play with three cards in Pendulum, no problem. Even if they hand trap, you can still typically have scales and still pen summon everything, so it's totally okay. So even though it's a cool 6 negate combo, it doesn't break people's say The 60 card deck, I think, uh, if you guys want the deck list, let me know. I was going to ask the guy, a fan sent me that list, uh, sent me that combo, sorry. If you guys want the list, let me know. I'll message him for the deck profile, uh, for the deck profile of his deck, and I'll happily show you guys. I think it's a nuts a list. I would personally only play one Divine Strike. I would cut the Divine uh, the Zephyr cards to play double. Just to, like I would only play maybe a few Zephyrus, a few Oracle Zephyrus, a few uh, Zephyr spell card that searches uh, one Zephyr Nui and one Normal Summon out of the Zephyr Wendy, and that's it. That's it. Not too much. Not too much. And I would just use that simply to as an engine to get Zephyr Nui to the extra deck, and as an engine of a free scale and a little plus one here and there. So it's a nice little engine. I do think magicians are more superior, but you guys have been asking me for Zephyr for a long time, so there you go. One other thing to note for you guys, a little thing about the channel, I do stream almost every single day, so do follow and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload or when I go live. I break decks live. I broke Magnet Warriors uh, for a fan uh, because it's his favorite deck. I broke it live for you guys. I do $20 deck requests during the stream. 
So if you guys want me to break ice barriers, no problem. Tree mids, no problem. Any shit deck, you let me know, we'll break it. Uh, we put pensions onto the Magnet Warriors. It mixed in extremely, extremely well, surprisingly. Simply jokingly, simply because uh, when you, with the Doki Doki, you bring out a level 3 Earth Rock. And even Doki with Electrum, you add it to your hands, the Doki Doki will always resolve. And bringing out Beta, and then you Pendulum Summon the Alpha. And then Alpha on their turn brings out Delta, and Delta brings Gamma to Grave. Making, ensuring that you're going to get Berserky on, on the following turn, every turn. Mixed in with Negates to protect you from getting OTK'd, and then Berserky on will recycle itself, etc, etc. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I really love the deck. Uh, I do think you guys should check it out. I'll do a video on it in the future, but that's the video for you guys. I will be releasing different stuff in the future. I know I didn't do much of a skit in this video. I've been up for a very long time. Skits are going to come a few times during the week. Uh, they do take a very long time to do, I will, I will be honest. But I will do skits uh, maybe four times a week. I'd say three times a week. But I will do intros on uh, previously on Truth Gaming. Every single video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.